Howdy y'all, I'm Round the Wheel, you're watching Lemmings to the Tribes, and today we're on Beach Mania, but really, when haven't we been on Beach Mania with the Beach Tribe? Beach Tribe likes to have levels that describe itself. Uh, we've got some classic tasks here, we've got the old attractor, we've got a new one, the Magic Carpet. We're gonna be going on a Magic Carpet ride, come on baby, let's make like Steppenwolf, and uh, why don't you come and go with me? On a magic lemming ride. It's gonna be quite excellent. We're gonna see the sands, see the sights. It's gonna be wonderful. So, what have we got going here in Beach Mania? Of course, it's Beach Mania. Well, okay, the exit's right down here. We're gonna be making a long way around, a long trip. It doesn't seem like that big a level, all things told. So, we've got. Okay, I bet we're gonna be going. All right, let's see. Let's. It might be another path around type of deal. Uh, do we have any... What kind of digging stuff do we have? Not much, really. Uh, we could go down here. This would be a splatter fest right here. So, I think what we're gonna do... I think I might have a pretty good beat on it. Let's see. Only one basher. Okay. That's interesting as well. A few jumpers. Okay, so let's go ahead and I think... I haven't been using the attractor correctly. Somebody said I want to get like four livings out or so. Or five, golly. The attractor's reach is just way too much for me. I don't, I don't understand why it's gotta be like that. Let's go ahead and, uh... all right. So the fifth living out is the attractor. And, oh, we may need a runner for this as well to go ahead and clear the gap. Okay, yeah, that is not some good, that is not good gap clearing right there. Although, that means probably now, though, we can get this one running way out the way. And once it hops, we No, also a disaster. So let's, we're probably going to be magic carpeting then, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's, let's actually mess with the thing that they give us to experiment with. That would probably be the smart money. So go ahead and fifth limbing is the attractor. Okay. All right. So you. Woo. Okay. All right. Okay. That's kind of a glider type task. Okay. That's nice. And at a minute, at a certain point, the altitude sort of levels off. All right. Cool. I can get with it. So we're gonna. Looks like we're gonna just go ahead and. I'm gonna do as much building as I can. I could probably also manipulate this with the fan, which would be nice. Um, if I go, where do I want to go from here? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and build to cover the gap here. Got to get them to safety. That's not gonna be. That's not gonna be a fun fall for them. It's not gonna be a fun summer either. <laughs> if they if they take that not fun fall and then then they're not gonna have a fun winter and a fun spring and. Fun is just going to be out of the equation entirely. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of doing to... I think it's going to take four bridges, maybe, just barely. If I stretched this, if I really stretch this, maybe I could make it three, but... I kind of doubt it somehow. But I don't think it will take that much doing to get to the exit from here. Yeah, yeah, four bridges is pretty, pretty big money there. Okay, so let's go ahead then and maybe if I position the bomber just so. No, so I want this to be the sort of deal where they fall and go to the right. And then what can I do from there? I can, uh, I don't, I can't bomb anymore after that point, but I've got one basher and one builder. I feel like I need four builders to cover this gap. No, I don't because I have archers. I could have shortened that up some. And maybe gone like one... This looks like a three builder job right here, maybe. Alright, I'm gonna go... Okay, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna... I'm gonna use out my archer compliment real quick to see how many... To see how many that takes to get the job done. How did you get? How did you catch up to? Oh my gosh, this is 
They are so finicky. Golly. Come on now. You're doing a number on me, my boys. Okay, I'm just gonna have you jump away. That's that's cheesing me off a fair bit. I really don't like the attractor. Alright, now let's see. Let's see how much Let's see how much good arrow shooting I can do. Let's uh let's plunge an arrow into the sand. Sand is not generally a good foundation for this sort of thing, but Oh, and I clear missed that. Okay. So, why don't we have you go do that again? Okay, I'm just gonna do... Oh, gosh, okay. Okay, and then you didn't do the job that I wanted. Oh, man, okay. Beach mania, more like... More like something mania. A word that I'm not gonna stoop to using here. Okay, I'm gonna try something else. I'm gonna make an arrow hill for the lemmings up here. This is really gonna test the range of the... No, it's not, because I can do it from up here. Let's try... Let's try this. So let's go from, like, uh... Let's try hit the bottom of the hill here. There we go. And then kind of make a succession of arrows here. No, well, that's not it, but, you know... Okay, that's pretty good. Let's try to get a little lower, too. One arrow left after this. Okay, yeah, so if I go from here, I shouldn't need to use too many more arrows than this. Let's see how high up this one goes. That's perfect! Okay, that's a nice little jank bridge there. Okay, so we're gonna need to place a builder here. Okay, so now I can kind of go about my way, and that maximizes my builders for over here. I can kind of, I think if I want, I only have one bomber and one basher. So I can use these sort of where I want, I think. I'm going to go ahead and, no, I can't really use them where I want. I've got to use the, I've got to use the bomber right here because I'm going to need to bash her to get through this. And hopefully it will do that and not get too janky. So, okay, I'm going to need to bash through the base here. There we go, that's good. Do not stop down. I was counting on you not stopping, but I guess I can just build over that. So I think two and two ought to do it. It's okay that the basher didn't make it. That was I still had a contingency plan in case that wasn't in case that didn't work out. So this should I think Okay, that depends on this being That depends on this being a clean drop, but it doesn't look quite like it will be. So, I think I may have messed up a little. Hopefully I didn't mess up. That would be a terrible place to mess up right at the end, but this may be a level that demands precision. But I don't think it demands quite that much. And I didn't get over that anyway, so it's a bust. So, whatever. I'm gonna see if one arrow will get me out of this. It may, it may not. We'll see. And while we're on the subject of things I might be able to get away with, let's see if I can bash, like, right at the top of the umbrella here. I think I may see stable ground here. Let's let's give it a shot. Yeah, I can bash through that perfectly. Okay, so now I need a builder out. There we go. He might hit his head here. Oh, wow. That was a nice little stroke of luck, because now I should have enough builders necessary to cover this gap. I don't even think it's really a gap. Whoa, that was a... I swear I only heard two clicks there. That would have been uncool to the max. That's what cool guys who hang out at the beach say. Okay, here's the real moment of truth, though. Okay, I made somebody a runner for some reason, thinking that was... Okay, yeah. We're about to get really fancy here. Somebody's about to... Yeah, somebody's about to skip that entirely, aren't they? Yeah, because I couldn't tell the jumper apart from the runner. The symbology was a little too... Yeah, and yeah, they they stun. That's great. But then, oh, that that was my own stupid fault right there. I'd be on my way to a gold right now if I hadn't done that little bit of business. I was like, well, didn't he jump? Uh, because somebody in the crowd just turned green. But there we go. I think I've got my path to victory finally. This was kind of a brutal level, actually. Kind of took it out of me, honestly. And there's the runner free batch. The builder shoves it off to victory, and that is it. Holy cow! 
That was a surprisingly tough level. Like, not in terms of finding a path, really. Once you once you get the magic carpet thing going, it all falls into place a little bit. But I'm really starting to appreciate the utility of archers as a way to make ramps for lemmings. They come in surprisingly handy, and when you get archers, you really need to pay attention, because you're probably going to be using them so that you can maximize your builders elsewhere, but... Man, that one was rough. I thought we might be finishing the beach today, but I don't think so. I think I'm going to do one more and see how they... Unless this one is just extraordinarily short somehow. Ninth levels aren't always that crazy. We got Sandblaster. We got the Platformer, the Mortar, anything new. A Roller. We got Rollers now. So they just roll... Is that a Basher type thing? That's probably something we're going to spend a little bit of time playing with before we get into actual legit brain puzzle solving so let's see let's see what we've got here let's see what a roller does how much range it has for one thing so roller goes blah, 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 blah. i mean sure yeah it's going to yeah it's going to hit the water first okay we've got the attractor thing going on as usual okay can you assign tasks from a rolling position that's also something i would like to see you can okay it's just a way to Okay, it's kind of like a runner type deal okay so where is the exit here it's there's a little clam there's a baby clam and there's a mommy clam or a daddy clam or whatever whatever with bivalves i don't know i would imagine a big one can be bashed through but well we don't really have bashers we've got bazookas so that's a whole thing so all right so we're gonna be going we're gonna be taking some trips here for sure uh i think we're intended to get across this in one shot and maybe this as well uh so i'm just experimenting for now some lemmings are gonna die but yeah rolling is gonna be not very useful there so huh what do we want to so now i want to see what rolling does okay no it does a physics thing weirdly enough so you can kind of get big height off of ramps that they can walk up that's an interesting idea but okay, let's go ahead. Let's go with uh, normal, normal attractor blocking for now. I'm gonna get about five lemmings out. See, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. I wish if they wanted to make you, if they wanted one lemming go ahead, why don't they just give you freaking blockers? Like, like I don't understand why it's so. Okay, it's gonna have to be six lemmings clearly. So sometimes letting a fifth one go ahead works. Sometimes it doesn't, so... And that's just platforming, so I don't know what I'm doing there. Because I'm completely losing it, apparently. This is your brain on sleepy time, T. So... Okay, yeah, there we go. That's good. Okay, so now we're going to be using exactitude of platformage, it looks like. I don't know that that's going to cut it right there. I think we may have wanted to get one pixel lower, maybe. One two three okay i think that's gonna do it though that's good okay so now what do we want to do we want to bazooka through this is the filler so bazookas and mortars basically um let's see how this goes we're gonna be bazookaing and mortaring a path it would seem uh platforming where possible is there a gap worth filling possibly maybe not really I feel like we're gonna be taking the long way around here but I think we're just gonna have to brute force our way through this whoa okay don't go to the left no if you go to the left that means you'll go back into the attractor crowd I don't need you getting attracted here we got 20 jumpers that's that's something uh maybe if the jumper can get away here okay yeah there we go all right there we go all right that's something that's that's really slow and inefficient and i can't say as i care for it that much okay so yeah there's kind of an idea going there no okay there we go all right so they're going to be going their own way basically we'll be using jumpers to get okay there we go all right i kind of appreciate the oh wow okay so we want people who are going to the right, essentially. 
Oh, this is gonna get very messy. Well, if we can if, if eventually shoot from... All right, yeah, we're kind of shooting from the hip here, but they turn around left. I don't like that very much. I'm gonna say it right now. All right, we're gonna be cleaning out our jumpers here, but we gotta make sure to have one left for the big one, so... All right, let's see. Bazooka goes... Bazooka Joe goes pow. Okay, yeah, if we go far enough back, there we go, no recoil. That's what I like to see. So we've got seven jumpers left, that should do it. Okay, what's gonna really upset me is if I somehow get to the edge of a pit and that ends up being no good for us. Okay. Where is the best route from here though? So I'm thinking, okay, mortars. I'm thinking I'm gonna mortar down through here probably. What do I have left in the way of bazookage? One. Wow, okay. The explosives are not quite what you would hope for sometimes, but you make do. Let's let's go ahead. But, oh gosh, okay. Well, if he turns around, that's not really a big deal. But the recoil, it really, it really kills your timer sometimes. So let's go ahead and kapow. Okay, yeah, very good. Same deal. Okay. Oh, I see. It's going upward through the thing. All right. Tolerable enough, I guess. All right. Boy, this is a slow way of doing things, and not, I would note, an especially fun one. So how how do rollers factor in? That's, that's an idea. Okay, so this is the filler, right? Yeah, what can a filler do for me? Can I point bazookas... I feel like bazookas just go straight ahead and angle up a little. So what's the best way down to the bottom? Am I sitting on the best way down to the bottom or I don't know. This is going to get this is going to get worse before it gets better. I can tell you that much, but uh okay, so you go down here one archer. I think I already know where I'm going to put that cuz I want to I want to see something here. All right. Okay, I have my mortar. I think they'll just walk right underneath the clam for the most part. It doesn't look attached to the ground in any meaningful way. But, uh, okay, what do I have out? A mortar, okay. Okay, there's that. And then it goes way back again. I'm going to have to be releasing everybody as soon as I know what I'm doing. So, alright, and one more... Okay, that just went through the thing. Cool. All right. And I was too busy observing that and uh, missed what I'm going to do with my... Uh, well, let's see if a filler kind of... No, a filler doesn't really do anything too fancy. Um, yeah, I was going to shoot an arrow just like straight down at the ground. There we go. That's actually... Well, I wanted to do that, but I didn't know that they would walk over the arrow. So now I have no reasonable way of turning them around, really. Not one that I can sort out. I wanted to go around, down through the clam, and around here, but I may have to rethink this entirely now. Okay, I had to look this up, and it turns out the archer thing is right. It's just I suck at it and didn't know you could do this. Uh, it's actually pretty cool when it works out, but... Okay, why are two lemmings going now? I, I am really starting to hate attractors. They're so... You never know when one is going to go or two are going to go, and it's just the worst thing on the planet. There we go. Okay, so I did figure... I did pick up some efficiencies along the way. Mostly having to do with the bazooka here. I'm going to keep rapid clicking until... Well, I was going to keep rapid clicking, but the idea is that I rapid click six times and it ends up making a big hole through the sandcastle with no recoil. So, all right, let's get this going again. Six. There we go. All right. So then bazooka six times from about here. All right. 
I do love the fluidity of the getting out the bazooka motion. It reminds me of old, like, Windows 3.1 animations. Really cool, actually. And so now we platform across the water when I'm not the worst and my hands don't feel like jelly. So I'm through the sandcastle, although this is going to be a little more of a problem than I wanted. Because I'm going to be using mortars to blow through here now. And when he uses the mortar, he's going to turn around and he's actually going to walk up this and back to his comrades who are just dancing away over there. Which is not what I wanted, but we can kind of, we can kind of uh, roll with it this time actually. So let's go ahead and uh, send, I think, I think a few more ought to do it. Let's go ahead and fast forward them because this is slow and it's not a fun way to bash through obstacles. Like... The idea is cute. I think the level was probably built. Oh, oops. Oh, shoot. Well, that wasted a jumper. That sucks. Uh, so, okay. Hop. Probably gonna keep dancing. Yeah. Uh, same for you. Wow, it's gonna take that one three to get across. That's great. Okay, yeah. So, a little less efficient than I would have cared for. But, okay, yeah. You're following pretty close behind. You're probably gonna get blown away too okay no good all right all right so but we've got kind of a problem on our hands here oh okay or maybe we don't okay so here's what we do we're gonna get to the very edge of the cliff here and we're gonna point straight up okay not that straight up i was gonna okay it has to be like the limbing has to be pointing straight up and aiming straight up but the arrow has to drop down to here. And that's how you get lemmings to not walk past an arrow. You'll see it when I get it right. Which at this rate, probably never. Yeah, that's what's supposed to happen. Oh, and then they'll... There we go, yeah. I hope the other lemmings come through that way. But what I should be able to do now is... Bazooka and mortar through the big clam. I don't think the big clam hurts you. No, the big clam is just kind of there as an obstacle. I think we can probably get through it. I think it only touches the ground at one point, so... Let's try blowing through it that way. Let's just blow through the mouth of the clam. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I should be able to release everybody now. And hopefully they'll turn around once everything... Okay, yeah, everything is golden for this guy from here. But hopefully his comrades turn around at this arrow and I didn't get it too close to the edge. That is really dicey and I don't like it at all. And I'm very afraid of it and I hope I succeed because, uh, please, 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 please. Okay, good. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, yeah, they're all going to turn around now. The arrow marks the turnaround spot. They all get through nice and easy. Okay, man beach got brutal all of a sudden like it was the easiest tribe up until level eight and then it just put the hammer down no more fun at the beach the lifeguard has closed up for the day there are sharks in the area no one is gonna have any fun anymore this is now officially the no fun zone dang worked for those gold standard rescue attempts today i'll tell you Boy, uh, Uncle Roundy does have a bedtime, you know. Try to respect that game.